Hi, John. Thanks for the class earlier. I wanted to talk to you about my last exam. Oh, sure, Emily. Let's discuss it. How do you feel about your performance? Well, honestly, it wasn't great. I only got three correct answers. Oh, I see. It's important to understand where you might be struggling. Why do you think you found it challenging? I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. It was just a grammar test, and I don't think grammar is crucial for speaking English fluently. I understand your perspective, Emily, but grammar is actually fundamental for learning any language. It provides the structure and rules needed to communicate effectively. I recently watched this YouTube video by a popular teacher named Mr. English, who argues that grammar isn't essential for speaking English. Have you heard of him? Mr. English? That's an interesting name. No, I haven't heard of him. But I can tell you that understanding grammar is indeed critical for language learning. Mr. English has a video where he criticizes traditional grammar teaching methods and claims you can speak English well without focusing on grammar rules. It's important to be cautious with such claims. Grammar isn't just about using words correctly; it's about understanding how language works. Maybe I misunderstood his message. Then I thought he had some valid points. It's easy to get misled by online content. Learning grammar can be approached in various ways, and modern methods emphasize practical application. Can you share some effective ways to improve grammar? I really struggle with it. Absolutely. One of the best ways is through consistent practice and targeted exercises. Let me give you a sneak peek into some effective techniques. That would be fantastic, Teacher John. I'm all ears. Well. First and foremost, immerse yourself in English. Watch movies, listen to podcasts, and read books. This exposure will help you internalize grammar naturally. That sounds enjoyable. I already love watching movies in English. Excellent. Another tip is to focus on specific grammar points one at a time. Start with basic concepts like verb tenses, then gradually move to more complex structures. Breaking it down into smaller chunks sounds manageable. I'll give it a try. Also, practice regularly. You can use grammar exercises, write short essays, or engage in conversations to apply what you've learned. I'll make sure to incorporate these practices into my routine. Additionally, don't hesitate to ask questions or seek clarification whenever you encounter something confusing. That's good advice. Sometimes I'm unsure about certain grammar rules. Learning grammar takes time and effort, but consistent practice will lead to noticeable improvement. Thank you so much, Teacher John. I feel more motivated and equipped to work on my grammar skills now. You're welcome, Emily. Remember, mastering grammar will enhance your overall language proficiency and boost your confidence in English. Now, as we continue our discussion about grammar, we emphasize the importance of consistency in practicing language skills. Absolutely, Teacher John. I understand that practice is key to improvement. How often would you recommend practicing grammar exercises? It's ideal to practice a little every day, 
even if it's just for 15 minus 20 minutes. Regularity is more effective than cramming hours of study sporadically. That makes sense. I'll dedicate some time each day to focus on grammar exercises and reinforcement. Fantastic! Remember, learning a language is like building a house brick by brick. Each grammar concept you master adds to the foundation of your language skills. I like that analogy, Teacher John. It's a reassuring way to look at the learning process. Another helpful tip is to use technology to your advantage. There are numerous language learning apps and online resources tailored specifically for grammar practice. Oh, that's convenient. Do you have any app recommendations? Certainly. Duolingo, Grammarly, and Babbel are popular options for practicing grammar in a fun and interactive way. I'll check those out. It sounds like they could make learning more engaging. Absolutely. Also, try to integrate grammar study with real-life situations. Pay attention to how native speakers use grammar in conversations and try to mimic their patterns. I'll keep that in mind. Immersion seems to be a key factor in language acquisition. Indeed, immersion accelerates the learning process significantly. You'll notice improvements in your grammar skills as you expose yourself to more English content. I'm excited to put these strategies into action. Thank you for all your valuable advice, Teacher John. You're welcome, Emily. Keep up the enthusiasm and persistence and you'll achieve your language learning goals in no time. I will, Teacher John. Thanks again for your support. I'm looking forward to our next conversation. Likewise, Emily. Feel free to reach out anytime. Have a wonderful day. I hope you like this conversation. If you cool and improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with friends. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the Soper Think button. Thanks.